Tourists to Tokyo, Kyoto, and other major Japanese cities often remark how clean everything looks. But long term residents quickly notice something else the serious absence of garbage cans. Where did the cans go? And how do Japanese cities manage to stay clean relative to other locales without them? First off, clean should be qualified as relatively clean. People who first hear descriptions of Japan's cleanliness might imagine sparkling, shimmering citadels unblemished by so much as a chewing gum wrapper. But Japan is just like anywhere else. And while less trash may end up on the streets than in other cities, that doesn't mean Tokyo is trash free. One common item you'll find lying on the streets on rainy days disposable umbrellas. The cheap, flimsy vinyl parasol sold by convenience stores often lose their first battle with Japan's hell winds. Some citizens, rather than carry them to a proper final resting place, just leave the soldier where it fell. Another common item of late masks. Twitter users have noted how often they seem to spot discarded masks lying on the streets lately. In general, however, most foreign residents agree that Japanese cities are, on average, cleaner than others. Which is curious, because the same residents also complain that it's nearly impossible to find a trash can anywhere. Where do the trash cans go? And how do Japanese cities stay clean in spite of their absence? In a series of articles on things foreigners found to be mysteries of Japan, Newsweek Japan tackled the question of why the country's cities seem to be so clean even when there are very few public garbage cans and ashtrays around the cities. Reporter Takano Tomohiro says that the absence of trash cans goes back to the sarin gas attacks perpetrated by the cult Om Shinni Kyo. Quote, In 1995, following the sarin subway gas attack, Garbage cans in primarily city centers were sealed or removed as an anti-terrorism measure. But since then, outside of convenience stores, the number of cans has kept decreasing. A Japanese commenter on Quora adds that this reduction continued after the 9-11 terrorist attack in America in 2001. The Japanese government made a concerted effort to remove public locations where an explosive device could be hidden. So why are Japanese streets so clean despite this war on garbage cans? In his article, Takano repeats a common refrain often heard both in Japan and abroad. Japan's quote-unquote moral level is so high that people naturally refrain from dumping garbage. However, social conditioning by authorities also surely plays a huge part. Takano also notes that Japan gets high marks from foreigners for their smoking manners in public, with 64% of respondents rating Japan better than their own countries. He attributes this to aggressive advertising campaigns by tobacco manufacturers aimed at alerting people to the dangers of smoking while walking. Additionally, many local governments have fairly aggressive campaigns against littering, particularly the discarding of cigarette butts in public. In fairness, Takano also notes that foreigners also question Japan's secondhand smoking strategy, particularly the number of restaurants that allow smoking. This is something that Tokyo in particular has worked to curb ahead of the upcoming Olympics. Anyone familiar with corruption in Japanese government or the treatment of rape victims in the country is likely to look askance at the high morals argument. Yet it's hard to deny that at least most average people in Japan seem to do a better than usual job of keeping their crap off of the streets. But while small scale littering may be less frequent in Japan, large scale dumping is another issue entirely. In 2018, there were 155 incidents of illegal dumping, consisting of 157,000 tons of illegally discarded garbage. Most of it, around 78% according to Wikipedia JP, is committed by construction companies. There's also the issue of plastic waste. As we've discussed before, Japan is one of the world's top exporters of plastic waste. Studies have found a concentration of microplastics in the waters around Japan higher than the global average. A study of 29 rivers in the country found that every one contained microplastics. The country has taken steps to curb this waste recently, 
such as charging for plastic bags and launching a large-scale study of microplastic pollution in Japan's territorial waters. So yes, Japan is clean. In some ways. In other ways, like many other nations around the world, it has a lot of work left to do. And, as with many other nations around the world, some people in Japan will always throw their garbage where they're not supposed to, if they think they won't get caught.